Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Easter Sunday, April 4th, 2021. Taking a break from family festivities to sneak in a quick, short video on boxing. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about Jamel Herring's victory KO uh, over Carl Frampton. Knock Frampton down multiple times. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I didn't believe the fight was that lopsided. I know press reports are talking about a masterful job by Herring. I thought Frampton made some mistakes. I thought Frampton then figured out how to hang out on Herring's right side. Understand, Herring's left hand, which is explosive, doesn't have what I call a lot of ring coverage. He's not going to hit you with that left hand from across the ring. Let's be clear, too, going into this fight, the last few Herring fights had all gone the distance. So a fighter who knew what he was doing, who was a little bit more alert than Frampton here, would have known, okay, this guy might not have the power to knock me out if I fight the right way. Well, Frampton opens up Herring's right eye. This is the second fight in a row where Herring had his right eye open up on him. Looked like Herring had some problems. Herring's a southpaw. So, let's figure it out. His left hand doesn't have a lot of ring coverage, but that's his money hand. That's his big punch. Right? Doesn't have a lot of ring coverage. And he's bleeding out of his right eye. Now, I know Herring is tall. I understand he has a jab you have to go through. But, when Frampton was over on Herring's right side, I thought Frampton was having success. It's still relatively early in the fight, right? The fight ends in the middle rounds. Frampton has a lot of real estate on the back end to deal with, right? If he can crack the code, he has several rounds to do damage. Herring's vision is compromised. That right eye problem is a multi-fight problem. So I believe what Frampton should have made sure of was to be over on Herring's right side away from Herring, southpaw, away from his left hand. And he should have been targeting the eye. Right? Understand, you don't have to headbutt a guy. To just have your head in the area where the guy with the bad eye can't move toward you. You could control his movement. Also, Every punch, or close to every punch you throw, should have been either up at the guy's bad eye, right? He's having problems seeing out of the eye. Try to open up that cut, right? Or have the guy thinking you're going to go to that eye, then you rip his rib cage. Herring is something like 5'10", folks. He has a lot of body to rip. You're Carl Frampton. You have a punch. Well, Frampton somehow gets a little lackadaisical at times, and boxing's unforgiving. Right? So Frampton, curiously, gets dropped off of a straight left hand early. Frampton has his hands down. Then Frampton wanders too much into the middle of the pocket and gets caught with an uppercut later and goes down a second time, right? Frampton shouldn't have been around the middle of the pocket. He should have realized, hey, Herring has an excellent left hand. Let me stay away from it. Also, Herring really can't throw that left hand that far. So, let me just roll over on his right side and force him to reach for me. So Herring right now is looking at possible fights against his mandatory. 
Shakur Stevenson, who's also tall, who fights tall, who's also a southpaw. Right? And Oscar Valdez, shorter fighter, but very cagey, fights orthodox. I believe Herring is going to have a problem with both men. Let's think about Shakur Stevenson first. Stevenson's very fast. He's very fast. Understand it lines up well for Stevenson. In other words, if Stevenson targets Herring's eye from the opening round with his right jab, that should take Stevenson out of harm's way of Herring's left hand. Right? The left uppercut that he dusts off Carl Frampton with, understand, Stevenson fights tall, likes to have a little bit of a cushion between him and his opponent. He's not going to be leaning over the pocket like Frampton was to get hit with that left uppercut. Also, if he's shooting the right jab, then that naturally takes him away from Herring's left hand. Because he's gonna be he's gonna be over on Herring's right side. Let me say this for Oscar Valdez, who has an excellent left hook. It's excellent. Right? Which lines up very well with Herring's right eye. Right? Valdez's lead hand is gonna be the hand that lines up with Herring's right eye. So what Valdez has to do is Valdez is going to have to roll to his left while targeting Herring's right eye. And Valdez, of course, with an excellent left hook can mix in left hooks with the jabs. But he has to be cognizant of Herring's left hand. I think Herring, who's in his mid-30s, he's older than you think. I think Herring, after a great win, a multiple knockdown win over Carl Frampton, I think Herring's on borrowed time. If Herring signs to fight either Shakur Stevenson or Oscar Valdez, and at this stage of his career, who else is he going to fight? Folks, he's in his mid 30s. This is the time in your career where you're the champion and it's time to make a statement. You don't want to fight unknown fighters. You want to fight fighters that'll give you legacy. Both Stevenson and Valdez are unbeaten. Both would give you box office. I believe Herring has to pick one or the other. Both have had belts. I believe Herring has to pick one or the other. And when he does, he's going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Because I believe both guys will be able to target his right eye, which is a problem. Right? It's open in the Frampton fight, and it's giving him problems. Right? The fighter in the fight before Okendo gets suspended gets disqualified in the fight for headbutting that right eye three, three rounds after the headbutt. I'm not making this up, right? Herring's dominating the fight, but let's just say that right eye has played a big role in Herring's last two fights. A guy who's aware of spacing, like Shakur Stevenson, is going to be too far away to get hit with the kind of uppercut that ended Carl Frampton's night. And he's going to be able to throw volume at that right eye and rotate away, move away from Herring's left hand. I believe Oscar Valdez's left hook is simply lethal. Right? If you have a problem with your right eye, and you're facing a Joe Fraser type guy who you're going to have to reach for, who can dodge your jab on the way in like Valdez can, you're going to be in trouble. 
So put me among those who will be looking at the line carefully for Herring's next fight. Right, right now I'm leaning to his opponents. Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez, two unbeaten fighters, real opposition. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Happy Easter. Thanks for stopping by.